Hello my friends, today we are going to go from images like this, take a closer look at the artifact in the middle there, to this, with one simple step, I will show you the solution, stick around. What's up everyone, for those who are new my name is back again, I'm an Amarai radiographer. So in my video, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amrite topics, tutorials just like this one. And since I started this YouTube channel, I've been releasing videos regularly. So if you're new, please check my other older videos as well. And if you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. When it comes to live imaging, diffusion has become more and more important in the daily routine. And there's one simple solution to the artifact I want to show you today. So without further ado, let's go to the scan and I will show you. All right, currently we are at 1.5 Tesla, but this doesn't matter. You can do this as well on 3T. So in front of you here, you have a live imaging, of course, and we have a localizer right here. Let's run that one. I'm going to do two scans, one with the artifact and one without the artifact, so you can see the differences. So I'm using a set band in the anterior and posterior, just trying to remove the extra fat in the front because fat would cause ghosting whenever you have a phase encoding in the AP direction here. So a good fat saturation is needed. And I'm also using a, a low field of view phase right here just because and then I managed to push the, the TE a little bit lower. So right here. So you have two modes here. The one of them is gradient separate, the other one is EPI separate. So whenever you are looking up in the Siemens tree and you go to the diffusion in the liver imaging and you can see that it's standard with the gradient separate. The sources says that you also should use gradient separate, but I'm going to show you the differences. So let's try it out. Let's try the gradient first. So I'm just going to try to reduce the field of view face a little bit more here, just to reduce the, the TE and also the TR. All right, so let's name this for gradient. Scan I want. And let's do another one right here. But before we continue, let's see what the differences are between the gradient and the EPI. So you can push the F1 button right here. Usually, whenever you push the F1 button, you go to the help mode right here, right? And then there's nothing to find here, but don't worry because you can do a search mode right up in the corner here. We're going to do a search right here. We're going to write the gradient and maybe separate. There you go. So you can go in here. So in here you have two separate gradients, separate EPI. So you can do a further reading for have a better understanding right there. So let's continue. So this one now, second scan, we're going to try the EPI. And we're going to write EPI right here. All right, so let's check the results. Currently, we are in the viewing mode. This is B0. On the, here, you have the gradient based. Here, you have the EPI based. With the B0, it seems look alike. Nothing very much different. Let's go to B800. Here, you will see a little bit different right here. So let's zoom in here. Change the window level. So look at the mid part right here. It seems a little bit more noise there with the gradient. With the EPI, it's less noise. So that means that with EPI, you can push the, the limit a little bit further without seeing the noise in the middle part. You see there? Looks clearly more clearly here, less noise compared to here. All right, I have, a, I have another scan here I just want to show you. This is a different case. You can see this is B0, the gradient, a lot of noise there, the EPI, less noise. So let's scroll through here. You see there? It's differences. This is B0. And let's go to B800. You can also see here, much more noise. So I feel like whenever you're using the EPI mode, you can push the limit a little bit further without seeing the artifact. Well, that's it. I hope you find this video valuable. Like I mentioned in before, the sources says that the gradient separate should be on, but like you see here, the EPI separate is much better. But uh, try it out and check what's best for you. So before we close up, I do have a question for you. What kind of reference scan mode do you use? The gradient or the EPI? 
please let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe. Hit on the notification bell so you will get a ding ding whenever new things from me are coming up. I will catch up with you on my next video. Peace out.